International School Chiang Mai. Our hope is that this week maybe you're going to just simply be open just a little bit. I know it hurts and I know it's a scary thing. But say, all right, God, show me this love. Jesus, Lord of heaven, I do not deserve the grace that you have given, or the promise of your word. But I stand in wonder at the sacrifice. As you made with mercy be your measure, my dad, if really bad. Hey, hey, We're all sinners here. God wants us to talk to him. God comes at us like uh, Luke 15 and the prodigal son. He opens up his arms to us and he hugs us and kisses us when we humble ourselves and come before him. You see, that's the way sin is. At first, it assaults you, and you know, you know, you know what's going on in your life. Bam, bam, and you're like, oh, I can't believe I just did that, or whatever. And it assaults you, and it slaps you, and it shakes you up. And then you just become used to it. You don't confess, it's no big deal, it's part of your lifestyle. And it, you don't care anymore. You have this brokenness in your life, and, and you don't want to turn to this God who has these open arms and says, man, I love you, Rich. Come on. Everybody around you is like, come on. God loves you. What does that mean? Think about that. This God who loves you unconditionally. He's saying, come. But maybe some of you are in the shell and you're like, I, I can't do it. It'll hurt too much. take one million of our galaxies that it takes 100,000 years traveling at 186,000 miles per second. You can take a million of our galaxies and put them just in the cup of the Big Dipper. Do you get the picture that space is big? And what does it say here that God spans it with his hand? Jesus, your love has no bounds. Jesus, your love has no grounds. Jesus, your love has no bounds.
then it always hit me again that God calls me a sheep. Uh, I truly believe it's because he knows that sheep without a shepherd are lost. God isn't asking us to be perfect. He's just asking us to be real.